All right, more and more I looked at this setup on this BTM box, the more and more I didn't care for the little hose barb that sticks out the side. It's teeny tiny, and I don't want the box under the hood. So, and to run this little tiny uh, eighth inch silicone hose, I didn't care for that either. So I'll show you what I did here. You might agree, you might disagree. Okay, I've got to clamp my little hose clamp back on there, but focus. This piece of shit. Okay, that's nothing more than a quarter inch pipe to eighth inch hose barb. I drilled a hole in the side of the box. Be very careful. I put tape underneath here with the sticky side facing up to catch any metal. And you got to go real, real slow so you don't hit your circuit board. If the bit goes straight in, you'll go over it. But if it don't, you're screwed. Okay? You thread that in where it comes out this side. Then, what I did, I'm going to put a coupling on here quarter quarter to quarter coupling and I'm gonna put a quarter to quarter push lock into the coupling that way I can run a quarter inch push lock hose out there so I got a hose I ain't got to worry about blowing apart blowing off or collapsing coming in here to this box you could do it with eighth inch if you wanted I just happen to have two quarter inch fittings left over so I used what I had but, yeah, I come in here and just drilled the hole. I'd have to look. I think it was a half inch. So this fits snug, and, of course, it's tapered thread. And you got to get it right because if you try to force this, it will split this pop metal box. And just slowly work it in, back it up, work it in with our end. You use the end wrench. You'll have about three-fourths of the thread sticking out this side. And this going through here is not going to affect these pipe thread enough to hurt them. It's just pop metal. Then you just take a coupling, which I've got to go get one real quick up here at the old Homey Depot or hardware or wherever. Whichever one's closest. I'm just going to go and get a brass coupling. Screw these two together. Put a little pipe sealer or Teflon pipe thread sealer on this. Screw it on there. Screw that on there. And you've got your, again, quarter inch push lock hose to go out to whatever you're supplying boost reference out of to the box then you have a rigid line that's not going to break it's not going to collapse and it sure as hell ain't going to blow off of there because that little fitting they give you is just crap it's got one barb on it here's a double a double male is with what we had in there and i took it out but the fitting it comes with it, if this damn thing would focus, it'd be a miracle. It only has one of them little barbs like that. And it's only about that long from my thumb out with one barb, not even two. You know, and these little fittings here got what? One, one, two, three, four barbs per inch. So, yeah, it, it wasn't a whole hell of a line. I don't care what they say. So... But yeah, that's a little video I just wanted to share real quick on how I fixed that so I could run a quarter inch push lock into my MSD box, my BTM box. So, uh, we're about to get the truck up and going. It'll probably be sometime middle of the week, toward the weekend. We'll, I'm going to get it out, drive it around, and start getting crap dialed in. But as you can see, I got a mess in here to clean up. I got crap to finish. There's both of the AFR gauges. Yep, I'm running two of them. Because I had one and I bought another one, then I found that one. Because my somebody misplaced it. So I'm just going to put one in each exhaust pipe. So If one's good, two's better. It lets you read both sides of the engine. Same way why I run a water temp gauge in both sides to see if one side's lean or whatever. And I run oil pressure at front and back of the block. It's just cheap insurance, guys. Alright, I'll come in. Alright. Hold on.
truck. So, there you are. There's your fix for your MSD box and this crappy little fitting. Stay safe, God bless, and I'll put more up when I got the truck out later.